our D, E, F sharp and G, A, B with our Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, so if you're ready, we'll continue on with our last two notes of the D major scale and we'll continue on then with the higher octave. So it's just uh, the higher notes of the D major scale and it'll just be very useful to again get familiar with the high notes of the concertina and get used to playing them and getting familiar with where they are situated. So um, after our B in the D major scale we have C sharp. So C sharp is situated uh, if you look at your tune book on the layout of the concertina our C sharp is situated on our outside row, so outside line. Say that again there. So our C sharp is situated on our outside line, so farthest line away from us, and it is on our index finger, so our first finger. So out here, and it is on the push, so we push it in. So that is our C sharp. Okay, so again, outside line, first row, so therefore our first finger, index finger, and we push. Okay, super. So our next note then is our high D. So our high D is situated in the middle line, so middle line of our right hand, and it is on the second row, so we're using our middle finger for high D, and you'll notice as well that it is on the pull, so we pull for high D. So middle line, second row, middle finger, and we pull. Okay, so that's our D scale. That's from low D all the way up to high D. So we might just run through that very quickly from our low D to our high D. So we start off D on our right hand low D. So middle line, third row, so third finger, and we pull. Next is our E which is on the middle line, second row on the push. So middle finger, push. Following that is our F sharp, which is on the inside row. So our row nearest to us. And it is on the fourth row. So we're using our baby finger, our small finger. And we are pulling for F sharp. Following F sharp is our G. So G again is in the middle line of the first row. So we're using our index finger, our first finger on our left hand, and we are pushing for G. We're not moving our finger for the next note. We're just pulling the the concertina, the bellows for A. So. Okay, now we're jumping onto the right hand for the next note. So B, our middle line, first row, index finger, and we are pulling. Following our B, so we're onto our new note for this lesson which is C sharp, so we're moving out onto our outside line on the first row and we're pushing. That's for C sharp. And then our last note, our eighth note, 
of the D major scale is high D. So our high D is on the middle line of the second row. So we're using our middle finger and we are pulling for high D. Okay, so that now is our full D major scale. So we'll just practice that the whole way through. Um, we'll try it nice and slowly. So start off with low G. E. F sharp. G. E. On to our right side for B. sharp and high D okay let's try that backwards so we're going from high D to low D so high D C sharp B Practice that now, just playing it straight through. So start off with low D. So we're gonna go from low D to high D and then work backwards. So work from high D all the way down to low D. So start off with D. So if you want to practice that, going up and down our scales, um, that'll, and in our next lesson we'll be able to maybe look at a tune, a simple tune, just to practice all these notes, and it'll kind of consolidate our learning of the D major scale. So best of luck, and see you in the next lesson.